Hi there, my name is Sam from Worlds.com and welcome to a new comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Oppo Find X2 Pro. We are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera, design and battery. Stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. Before starting this comparison video, we would like you to know that we are still doing a giveaway. For more details, watch until the end of this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review, let the facts speak. Performance. Since we are in Europe, this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra model uses the Samsung Exynos 2100 chip with the new 5 nanometer process technology. There are different versions with different storage capacities available. A 128GB and a 256GB with 12GB RAM and a version with 512GB with 16GB of RAM, which is in use in this comparison. The storage capacity can unfortunately not be expanded anymore. A new chip plus 16GB RAM sounds hard to beat. What does the inside of the Oppo look like? The Oppo Find X2 Pro at the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip with 12GB RAM with 512GB internal storage capacity. The storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded. Samsung's newest chip, the Exynos 2100 versus the old Snapdragon model. Does the old Snapdragon stand a chance? Let's take them into the N22 benchmark test and the Geekbench 5 test to find out. The tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The second test is from Geekbench. This app will measure the performance of our smartphones in terms of CPU and GPU. So the Oppo was able to score a point in the Geekbench multi-core category. The Samsung on the other hand scored in the N22 benchmark test and in the Geekbench single core category. The newer chip with the 5 nanometer technology and the bigger RAM are what makes the difference. Camera The Find X2 Pro has three main cameras. A 48 megapixel wide angle, a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle and a 13 megapixel telephoto camera. The front camera's resolution is 32 megapixel and it is built into the hole punch notch in the upper left corner of the screen. The Oppo Find X2 Pro records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames. And of course, it has image stabilization for video. Looks like a pretty solid camera system. Now let's have a look at what the Galaxy is equipped with. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has four main cameras. An ultra wide with 12 megapixel, a wide angle with 108 megapixel, and two telephoto cameras with 10 megapixel. The front camera's resolution is 40 megapixel. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second. And of course it has image stabilization for video too. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. So we start with comparing the daylight pictures. Both seem to produce quality pictures with good sharpness and lots of details. The Galaxy is just a bit brighter. Cropped in, there are two things we noticed. On the one hand, the Galaxy seems a bit sharper and has less grain. On the other hand, cropping in on the plant, the X2 seems a lot sharper and produces more details. We are not completely sure why that's the case. We think it could be due to the set focus. In nighttime conditions, the pictures taken with the Oppo are a lot brighter. We also noticed more sharpness and details, although also a bit more grain. The Samsung seems to have problems here and is pretty mushy and dark. In the case of the front camera, the pictures of the Galaxy seem sharper and to have more details. This might be due to the Oppo being too bright, which creates a feeling of a blur filter being used. The Find X2 Pro has a 5 fold optical and a 60 fold digital zoom. The Galaxy has a really good 10 fold optical zoom and comes with a 100 fold digital zoom feature. Even though Samsung improved that zoom, in our opinion it doesn't make sense to zoom in all the way. Still, it is a fun feature to have. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch from photo feature to the video feature to find out which of these two phones takes better videos. What you see and hear is the quality of Oppo's Find X2 Pro video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. What you see and hear is the quality of Samsung Galaxy's S20 Ultra's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. In our opinion, the S21 produces better sound quality than its competitor. The echoing is just too overwhelming on the X2. The S21 Ultra is capable of recording in 8K, but that would have been too much cropped in. So we decided to do the video comparison on both and 4K. Let's crop in a bit in post to see what that looks like. In terms of the video performance, the Oppo clearly beats the Galaxy. It might be a little too bright again, but the color rendering, definition and contours are just more pleasing on the Find X2. As you can see, both look pixelated when cropped in. The Galaxy though is considerably more blurry and grainy. Both phones are capable of producing slow motion videos with up to 240 frames per 
microsecond in Full HD mode. Meanwhile, the Samsung features super slow motion videos by digitally enhancing videos taken in 720p mode from 480 frames per second to 960 frames per second. In conclusion, both phones have their pros and cons. While they are equally strong in terms of daytime photography, the Oppo has the upper hand in nighttime conditions and video performance. The Samsung on the other hand shines when it comes to the front camera, sound quality and slow motion videos. It also generally has a lot more potential due to its very good 10-fold optical zoom. But we have to rate the performance in our test environment. And this one was a draw. We are always interested in your experiences though. So feel free to tell us in the comments below what you notice about the camera features on your device. Display the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.8 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The S21 Ultra measures 17.3cm diagonally with a pixel density of 515 ppi. The display has an impressive 120Hz refresh rate with a Quad HD resolution and it is also downgrading the rate when it's not in use to reduce power consumption. Pretty high standards on Samsung's side. Let's see what the Oppo has to offer. The Find X2 Pro has a 6.7 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The 6.7 inch display therefore measures 17cm diagonally with a pixel density of 513 ppi. The Find X2 Pro has the 2020 massive feature of an impressive 120Hz refresh rate, even with the highest resolution. This was such a close one, since on paper both screens look equally good. We almost called it a draw on this one, but since the S21 Ultra has the adaptive refresh rate feature, it is the close winner of this category. Design The Oppo Find X2 Pro that we tested in this comparison uses a very elegant vegan leather finish. The triple camera system is well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. Unfortunately, the bump sticks out a lot, so it won't lie flat on a table. It will definitely wobble a bit. The smartphone weighs 200 gram. It is roughly 16.5 cm long, 7.44 cm wide and 0.95 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector. The IP68 rating makes it also water and dust resistant. The Fine X2 Pro uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. There's also a ceramic version available which is slightly heavier and a tiny bit thinner. Our concern is that the vegan leather might change color over time. Vegan leather on a phone? Interesting new idea. Next up, the Galaxy. The Galaxy S20 Ultra comes across very sophisticated thanks to its matte finish. The quad camera system is as usual on the upper left corner on the back of the phone, but the bump seems like it is more connected to the front of the phone. It looks like as if the frame is wrapped around the upper left corner of the back. The bump itself really sticks out of the phone again, which makes that corner really thick. The smartphone weighs 227 gram. It is roughly 16.5 cm long, 7.56 cm wide and 0.89 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector and thanks to an IP68 rating it is also water and dust resistant. The S20 uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Samsung improved the fingerprint scanner by making it 1.77 times bigger and 2 times faster. Ok, let's go step by step. Comparing the front design, we actually like both phones. The Samsung has this typical clean, robust look of the Galaxy series. Even though the camera placement in the middle isn't our favorite, that's what the Find X2 does better. The front camera in the left upper corner definitely is less distracting. The curved edges, on the other hand, not so much. We are glad that Samsung decided to take a step back in this case. In case of the back design, both phones share a similar problem the camera bump. In both cases it sticks out too much, so the phones won't lie flat on the table. But Oppo's camera bump is way smaller than that of the Samsung and feels more elegant. The Samsung just looks clunky. Generally we prefer the material used on the Galaxy. The rainbow shine matte metal looks and feels more valuable, even though we have to give credits to the Oppo for trying something completely new. Regan leather on a phone might be enough to convince some customers. At last there's always a difficult part of choosing a winner and this time we decided to give this point to the Galaxy. We just like the more premium look and feel of the phone as a whole more. We weren't fully convinced of the vegan leather on the Oppo. Of course it is always a matter of taste and personal preferences when it comes to design. So let us know in the comments below what you think. Battery the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra when fully charged has 5000 mAh. On the other hand, the Oppo Find X2 Pro in fully charged has 4260 mAh. The Galaxy should last longer due to its bigger battery and newer technology. Let's take them into our day-to-day -day usage tests and see if that's true. 
it was pretty clear that the older hardware of the Finex 2 Pro just can't compete with the newer and more advanced technologies of the Galaxy. Not to mention the bigger battery. Another point for the Galaxy. Conclusion Before we start the conclusion, let's talk about our giveaway. As we are still a small channel, but we experienced in our opinion a great growth over the last couple months with tons of support from you guys, we really wanted to thank you for that. Therefore, we decided to give you the chance to win these Sony headphones. To take part in this giveaway, click on the link in the description of this video. But before you do that, write a comment and tell us why you think you deserve to get these headphones. And be sure to follow us on Instagram. If you'd like to have more giveaways like that, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. All right, time for a final look. Who is going to be the final winner of this comparison? Let's count the points of each category and find out. The first category was really close, but the absence of the adaptive refresh rate on the Oppo is a big enough point to give this one to the Galaxy. Secondly, we were comparing the performance of both phones. Here, the phone with the higher gigabyte RAM and the newer processor took the clear win, the Galaxy. Next up, the camera system. Here you gotta say that both have their pros and cons, with the Galaxy maybe having more potential due to its 10-fold optical zoom. In our test environment though, this was a draw. Both get a point. In terms of design, Oppo tried something new, introducing vegan leather on their phone. In the end, the Galaxy got the point though, since we felt that it looked and felt more high class as a whole. Lastly, we compared the battery life and here it was pretty clear. The Galaxy with its new technologies and the bigger battery scored the point. Summed up, we have one point for the Oppo and five points for the Samsung, leading to a clear and deserved winner, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Naturally, we review more than these five categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to seven different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.